I was completely surrounded. Zombies, phantoms, but I needed that spider. I needed that string. It was so close though, they all ganged up on me and I needed to run back to my base. My mission was almost successful. I picked up that piece of string and I only needed one more. One more, so I headed out to kill the spider I spotted in my wheat farm. He dropped a piece of string. Finally, I could craft a bed. Yes, my first good night's sleep on the island I found incredible. I made a few improvements to my house, made it look a bit more snazzy, and then yes, you guessed it, it was time to face Hell's Gates. I dedicated the next few days to building a space for my nether portal. The portal was complete. It made a fine addition to the island. It was time. I made myself some gold boots. A new shield. It was time to face hell. I was terrified. I never thought I'd live to see the nether in person, only hear about it in gruesome stories, telling of its evil endless pits and pools of lava. I quickly covered the nether portal for protection, but I needed more cobblestone. I didn't want to risk losing the portal, because if I had lost that connection between the overworld and the nether, there was no coming back. I finished off protecting the nether portal and collected some bone, and then I found this snorting piglin that would barter with me. He gave me some fire resistance potions, which would be excellent for finding that fortress and killing those blazes. The piglin snorted at me, informing that I needed to be more prepared if I was going to face the fortress, so I headed back to the overworld. On the evening of day 39, I decided to head into my strip mine. I wanted to gather as much of the resources as I could. Lapis, coal, gold, so I could barter with more piglins. I found some diamonds along the way. Not as much as I'd like, though, so I dedicated a few days just to try and find diamonds. <laughs> I wasn't massively successful here, I only found about 12 diamonds, but it'll do for now. I then dedicated the next few days to making a bow, some diamond armor, and the enchantment table. Being on a survival island was really limiting. I barely had any resources and couldn't build bookshelves with leather, so I went to barter with the piglin in hopes it would drop more leather, but he just gave me a bunch of fire resistance potions. I finally had enough just to level up the enchantment table a little bit. Now, I didn't have the best enchantments, but it was better than nothing. Feeling more prepared, I headed into the nether. Now, let me tell you, no gear can erase the fear. I was still very, very nervous. Somehow, straight away, the zombie pigmen came after me. Like, I did literally nothing wrong here. Like, I was trying to save them from the gas. Like, I was trying to have your back here. Like, are you serious? Are you serious? So, I just headed back and farmed and killed some time, improved my house area, because I needed to wait for the zombie pigmen to cool down. I took a good long look at everything I'd achieved so far. This could be where I lost it all. I was so proud of how far I'd come in just so few days. After treading very cautiously, it seemed that the zombie pigmen had calmed down. Friendship was restored, so I progressed into the nether, collecting resources, trudging through soul sand. I made small markers with cobblestone and torches to allow me to locate where I had been. I had covered a lot of ground. I climbed up, dug my way down, killed ghasts, taken out skeletons, when finally, finally, after hours of searching, I found the nether fortress. The very fortress the piglin told me about. I'd done it, so I built a big marker and headed back home because I wanted to grab the fire resistance potions I had. Now, in my journey home, I almost died to a ghast. It was almost game over. Somehow, somehow, I managed to dodge his bullets. I couldn't get home fast enough. I rushed as quickly as I could, taking out enemies as I found them. I made it back to the portal. It was time to grab those potions. Yes, it was nice to be back somewhere I was familiar, but I didn't want to get too comfortable. I needed to quickly make those gold bars and grab those potions. I needed to head back into the nether to tackle that fortress. My hands were shaking. It could all end here. Thank you. 
the heat radiated from the nether brick. I made my way very cautiously onto the outskirts of the fortress. I navigated the maze-like corridors very, very carefully. I was hunting for that blaze spawner. I found it. It was time. After extinguishing the blaze rods, I collected all the nether wart, looted the chests, and killed wither skeletons. I had to get out of there, it was too risky, so I made a fiery escape. I dodged the wrath of the ghasts. Whew, we made it. Finally I was home, so I made some diamond boots, enchanted them with protection 3, and made some brewing stands. Now it was time to make a place where I could make potions. The brewing area was finally finished, so I got to work making as many potions as I could. Now the fundamental potion I needed was an awkward potion, so thank goodness I grabbed as much nether wart as I could from the fortress. I then used phantom membrane to make slow falling potions. This would help me when I'm killing the ender dragon. I then used redstone to extend the length of them and a bunch of blaze powder to make strength 2 potions. Wow, we come so far. It was time, yes, you guessed it, it was time to find that stronghold. So I positioned myself and threw the Eye of Ender high into the sky. Feeling well rested and a belly full of food, it was time, you guessed it, to head to the stronghold. Wish me luck. I, I was pretty emotional, I won't lie, it was the first time leaving the island. The first time seeing mainland. I made a small outpost, took a deep breath, it was time- Okay, no, okay, okay, I didn't really go to the stronghold. I found a- I found a living, breathing animal, so I brought him back to the survivor island, and then I thought, am I going to find some more animals? So I found a chicken! I found a chicken! A real-life chicken! Which then I could use the feathers to make more arrows! So, you could go as far to say that I chickened out here. Yes, I didn't go to the stronghold. I brought back the chicken and then bred as many chickens as I could. I headed over to explore. I made a best friend. Like, I was really excited that the parrot and me had formed a bond. Finally, a friend on this lonely journey. I spent a lot of time breeding chickens. Like, a lot. I needed as many feathers as possible, and then I used the gravel to get flint. I just needed arrows, like there's no way I was taking on this ender dragon without arrows. I slurped up my slow falling potion and witnessed the dragon swipe away the enderman. I was so, so nervous. I started taking shots, dodging the dragon's fireballs. I had to destroy the crystals. I took numerous shots and my aim was quite impressive. I was making fantastic progress, eliminating those crystals. I couldn't quite hit the last few, so I climbed the towers. I destroyed another crystal and made my way down. Only one to go. I used my water bucket to climb the tower. The dragon was furious. He had seen that I had removed all of the crystals. It was now my time to strike. The dragon could fly no more, so I headed down and attacked the beast. He tried to escape, but my arrow shots and strength 2 potion was too much for him. I did it! 
I freed the end from the Ender Dragon. I collected all of that glorious XP. Hey, <laughs> we did it, little guy. I then collected the Dragon Egg. I made it home. Now it was time to build somewhere to showcase the Dragon Egg. I created a small storage facility. Ah, we'd made it. 100 days. Thank you so much to each and every single